Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA, yeah, this is your Manchester United vs Young Boys match reaction And uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm happy that the youth got some minutes, good to see that, always good to see our young players given like, some game time With regards to our second team or, and even some potential first team is a bit disappointed But overall I'm not, I'm not disappointed with the result, I think I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a draw, I think it's good for us I think it's more disappointing on the young boys side that they didn't win that game because we kind of did take we, No, no, we didn't kind of take the piss, we took the piss Like we substituted our goalkeeper, we didn't have one of our first teamers on the bench, you know So I'm happy with the draw and I'll take a draw all day And um, yeah, it's, like I said, it's good to see the youngsters, good to see some players we never get to see And I think we learned some things on some players and I think we just it was okay for the rest of the players. So um, smash like on the video, subscribe if you're new. But um, Claire, what did you think of that? I... Yeah, I think what we've learned specifically is that Ralph is not a dumbass. It's as simple as that right now. Ralph understands that these players deserve a break, that these players cannot play every three days. And it's the bare minimum expected of a manager of this caliber. And this was a game where we were allowed to take the post. It's a free hit game this year. Yeah. This is 100% a free hit game. This is the game where you play the outcasts, where you give people that you think are potentially on the outskirts of the first team a go. And he did that. And we got the result across the line. We're going to top the group no matter what happens in the Atalanta game that got postponed. Mm. So I, I'm i very happy. We, we got to see a lot of youth. We got to see a lot of new faces. And... That, that's how you actually use youth, Ali. Uh, I, <laughs> this Ali agenda is going to exist as long as Ralph keeps on showing why he was so bad. Ali would have played the first team anyways today, but I tell you what, if Ali played that team today, you would have worried of what would happen. <laughs> I would have um, worried of what would happen. Yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking as well. Cause yeah. Again, we, we played, uh, I think we played like a lot slower pace today, which yeah. I kind of enjoyed because it felt a lot more like City, and I enjoy like the City build-up and the City just like very patient play. You we created the four play. decent chances today. Mm. It's not like, like, I think again, same thing. Yeah. The first half, we looked live, we looked like we really could put the team away again. Scored one of the chances. It's not like we didn't create more. We did have, like I said, four other clear-cut chances. And then, like I said, I think after that, it was just game management, just don't lose the game, so. Yeah, and it wasn't like, the Oli chances that we create where Mason shooting from the corner of the box, you know, yeah. it was like some actual good chances. And that's kind of where the quantity of a quality I mean, quality of a quantity comes from right now. And that that's why I feel like it relates to City as well. It's because you just want that like one good chance. You don't really want to just. Mm. And there are a few of them today. Exactly. So it's a very big positive just for the overall way we're playing right now. And just uh, way forward, it just feels very accessible for us right now to look at this and go, we create some decent chances. If Ronaldo's on the pitch, Bruno was on the pitch, imagine what happened. <laughs> uh, you know, imagine the result. And the youth look lively. I'm very excited with the talents that we have still. Uh, I still think we've got a, some work to do on this tactic, obviously. Um, I, I don't like the amount of long balls we're still playing. I think we do need to turn that down just a bit. Like, it's just just a little rough, you know. Just I don't think I don't think it's rough all today. I think the team is just no, that's how they, they weren't be coached or instructed to do anything else. Yeah, everybody's still learning. There's no judgment just yet. It's just some early criticism of it right now. There's definitely nothing that I can look at from today and go, "Holy shit, Ralph, what is wrong with you? Oh. How dare you?" It's definitely not that kind of mentality. It's just a, it's just a small thing that I've noticed and I want us to work on. I want us to be playing through a team versus just spraying the ball on a counter like we used to, you know? It can work. In so the yeah, I think I think Ralph wanted to counter them. Yeah. I don't think Ralph was like, let's let's go try out play. It looked like we wanted yeah. to counter it today. It was just like, you're right, guys. Let's just not lose and let's just counter attack them because we know we'll probably be faster than them. So let's just try our best today. That's what it looked like. Yeah. There, there were definitely some moments where it looked like the main strategy. But yeah, uh, again, this is just the stepping stone. This is just the way forward. And yeah, it, it's looking good. It's looking like Rolf is willing to play the youth. He's willing to adjust just a little bit tactically. And yeah, that, it was just a good game for yeah. us. For that. Yeah, I think that, um, that's basically all. Everything you say about the game, there wasn't anything ridiculous or spectacular that we both cover. 
with regards to if we get to the player ratings, yeah. It's, it's just like just a city just game. Just it's just happened. on those ones, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, but anyways, it's like I said, overall, I'm happy. Um, let's get into the player ratings, starting with Mr. Dean Henderson. There's no doubt there, that's for sure. Today, I felt like it was a bit sketchy, you know, coming, the times he did come out of the box, came forward, I, no, I, I was not feeling comfortable today with Dean Henderson. And the goal, listen, it was a good goal, you know, it was a good goal. Maybe, if that doesn't go, maybe he saves that, you know, maybe, it's a maybe, but, nah, not for me. Dean Henderson today, five. It's just, I, it's just not the I'm, first team goalkeeper. I'm the polar opposite. I love Dino today. I genuinely felt like we were playing with Edison. It was great. I Every hated time it. Every time there's the sweeper, he's just coming, he's darting, he's confident, and he gets it every single time. I felt like if he maybe missed one, I would be more so in your boat, and we like nearly let a goal in or something from one of those, I would be 100% with you. But I felt very confident, I felt very calm, and this man can chuck a ball across a football pitch. Like, it's ridiculous what he can do going forward. So, again, I think he's a fantastic second choice, and I do think he's the future. I think he's a very modern goalkeeper, and I enjoyed his performance today. I think he made some good saves when he needed to, and there, there weren't anything too crazy, obviously. We didn't give young boys the greatest of chances oh. when he had to make a save. Was it? A, but yeah. I think he did his job, and he did it well. So, I can't criticize him for the goal, like you said. It was just a really good goal and a mistake between Matic and Donny and just a moment of just absolute brain turning off, you know? So, uh, nothing wrong with Dino's performance. I actually thought it was really good, so I'm happy with him with the seven. Seven? Yeah. I give him a seven and concede a goal like that for me. I just, <laughs> nope, nope. It's, I don't like goalkeepers. Well, like, that's out of the goalkeeper's hand, in all honesty. I feel like you have to completely read the play. And that was very in the moment. Well, what I'll say is, he's no David De Gea, and he's... Oh, yeah, definitely. You, you sit yeah, on the bench. You, you hold it. All the Dino fans, you hold it. You, he's sitting on the bench. He's sitting on the bench. Sit on the bench? I do think this was a good performance from Dino. He's come back from injury, and he's looked like his old self. I'm, I'm very happy, uh, but David De Gea is still just yeah. way up here, okay? Yeah. De, so De Gea is just level yeah, yeah, so. the I don't know. For me, Dino is okay, too. It's just, yeah, it's okay for me. Expect more from a, from a potential first-team goalkeeper, to be honest. But um, anyways... Luke Shaw, I think he did what he, what, what he was supposed to do today. He came on, he showed like he was actually the only first team ex experience player for me today. He was like, you know, this is why I'm the first team left back. I, he got his assist. Yes, Greenwood did uh, have to pull out the quite a spectacular thing. But again, I thought the cross was still good. He put it in a good area. I thought some of the crosses Luke Shaw did today as well. Defensively, he didn't put a foot wrong. Substituted, supposedly, because it's a policy. If a guy is coming back from con concussion, he still has to be subbed at an hour mark, so I believe that is the situation where I got subbed off. And just to be a touch of Mengi as well. I thought Mengi was really good as well today when he came on. So, good performance for both of them. But with regards to Luke Shaw, got an assist. I'll give him a seven. Yeah, I think that's a great summary for Luke Shaw. It is just that, that solid performance. Just fuming. He didn't want to come off even today. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I thought it was just like a precaution thing as well, so mm. I, I don't know if it actually is a rule. Maybe Ralph was like, yeah, no, I think it was a rule, but also, I was just, some people was just thinking, you know, maybe Ralph mm. is like, you're going to play against Norwich now, because like, I, can see, I see, you made your point, you're going to play against Norwich, just come off. Yeah, maybe just. So uh, we'll see what happens going forward, but yeah, the very solid performance, again, put in a few good crosses, and that one is in a good area, as much as Mason just performed some other acrobatics to get that in the back of the net, yeah. I, uh, it was a good assist, so yeah, I'm happy to equalize your seven. Yeah, happy with Luke Shaw. Bye, again, happy shows why he should be a, probably a first teamer, because in a defense in a team like this, oh, he stepped up today. He clear once again saving Dino today. By the way, I don't know if you guys seen the shot came in. It was going in the goal, cleared it. Brilliant from uh, from Eric Bay today. He's an asset to this team. I think he does deserve a first team shot for me. It's a run and buy you all the way. None of this Victor Lindelof. None of this Maguire. These this and Varane are my centre back. So also happy to give Bay a seven. Show it why he's a he's a first teamer and he's a senior player. You know what? I was actually just blown away at Bai today. And all. <laughs> he did everything. He saved the goal. He even did his famous Bai turn throughout the game. <laughs> he did. It, it's just, it was a beautiful performance. And honestly, he gets my man of the match. I think he was the best player on the okay. field. I think he saved our asses more times than anything else. And yeah, it was just a brilliant performance from him. So I'm willing to give him a nine, actually. 
I think Man of the Match. Really good. There we go. I think I think him and Shaw probably giving Ralph thoughts for the weekend. If if there's any yeah, changes yeah. to be made, those two guys look like they took the opportunity today. So happy for them. Matic playing out of his position, but good. I think you know for what he was for what he had to do is okay. He did it as best as he could. You know what you're gonna expect the CDM to play centre back with a team like this again. Like I said, it's very weird. And I think he did it okay. He did give away the ball quite a lot of times dangerously today. But um, like I said, it's if you play, if you had to like play, you know, if you play somebody out of position, it's just gonna be a bit weird. So I uh, can let him slide slide with this one. And uh, like I said, it wasn't an important game today, so it is what it is. I'll give Matty. Oh God, no way, wait, wait, wait! And then the goal though, the goal was de- him and Donny was definitely at fault for this. Him, Donny, and Aaron Basaka were definitely at fault for this. So that that shaves off a point. So I was gonna give matches to six, but yeah, you know, that's a, that's a five. That pass yeah. was a bit heavy, so. Uh, you know what? Uh, Matic is a premium fridge, you know? Uh, that's what I is, Yeah, he's a premium. He's a premium <laughs> fridge. Maguire is that old school fridge, just the one door. You know, it's not even got a freezer underneath. It's just, just that's, that's Maguire. This is a luxury fridge, at least. <laughs> so, I, I was somewhat impressed with Matic and his performance today. I, I do think he stepped up in the centre-back role. I think it helped him a lot more just not having to go forward and just not have to push himself as much because it lessened the mistakes in the midfield for sure so uh, i like that he took the step back i think it was a good tactical decision mm. and I, I would have given him a seven if he wasn't directly involved in the incident so uh, i'm gonna have to drop him down to a six oh, yeah. i would give it minus one at that yeah, minus one has to come yeah that's fair one the suck oh boy oh boy 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 the US yeah, is, yeah, I also feel like we need to raise it. I love Aaron Basaka. But he let me down big time today. Non existent. Absolutely defensively shocking. Going forward shocking. And the worst out of everything was his passing and the positional awareness today. You know, Ralph would have definitely uh, you know would have definitely told him about it. He was the first team, a Ralph would have spoken to him. And again, I see him out of position for the goal we conceded. Again, I seen him too deep with the centre-backs, not keeping wide. And he just, he, he wasn't as nearly as comfortable as the low was. So I think for me, Aaron deserves to lose his spot in the first team. I think the low has to keep his spot for Norwich. And I think Ralph will, well, well I think Ralph will do it. I believe Ralph to drop Aaron on the side because it wasn't good enough. I hope he's okay because he was, he looked like that hand injury when he slid into the the advertising board at the end of the game didn't look good so we don't want him to be injured but i think he definitely doesn't deserve to start and for today uh there's a stink uh, there's a stink i'll give you a one just for appearance i guess yeah i felt he offered nothing today it, it looked like he hadn't touched the football in like five years honestly he was maybe he's a man feeling the pressure thing. yeah that could just be that it, like we said in the preview, that this kind of felt like Aaron Basaka's last chance, and he didn't take it. Mm. So, in comparison to Dallas' performance, which was at a much higher level, man out the match, yeah, <laughs> the the lowest man yeah. out the match last game. So, so uh, it, it's massive competition right now, and you couldn't perform against the young boys' side when you had zero pressure on you to actually win the game. Mm. I, I just feel first team as well. So. Yeah. Uh, it's just that position that I hate to be in because again we both like Aaron Basak we've both been preaching him for a minute and wanting him to keep going but today he just looked horrid it was shocking that nothing he could do what he did right it just he even looked just completely drained mm-hmm. he, like towards the 70th minute it looked like he had no energy in him so I don't know what's happened but something's affected him like I wouldn't be surprised if he had like COVID or something like it, it's that <laughs> it looked like that yeah it, it, looked, it looked like looked something like was way off it was like just unfit and just way off mentally as well so I, I'm very worried about Aaron Osaka I hope he is okay with the injury wise obviously but yeah the, the performance itself was just dreadful it's just a three from me yeah uh, well Aaron I think you Four, failed the Ralph yeah. I think you yeah I think you failed the Ralph test today so it is what it is. Um, anyways, um, Donny, ah, Donny, you fucked it up today. You fucked it up today. You are in the seventh. You won the most tackles. You made the most passes. You are clear of Scott McTominay. 
But then you pass it straight to the young boys player and he puts it top bits. You were gonna get a seven for me today. You were gonna get a seven and I was gonna be like, you deserve to start against Norwich. However, that, that mistake is it, it costed us the win today, really. So oh it's a it's a weird one. And I think again it's just a minus one, so I was gonna give you a seven. I thought what you had to do, you had no help by the way. No oh, besides Ahmed, I give respect to Ahmed, but you ran a midfield alone. You played in that deep position. For me, I would still play you against Norwich instead of swapping Talman, despite that mistake. But with the guys with Ralph now playing you instead of that, I don't know, Donny. That, that was just one thing you didn't have to do, and that was it when you were playing in a deep position. That is something you cannot do. So, ah, just hell unfortunate. Like I said, Matic passes didn't help you. Aaron Basaka didn't help you. Dino didn't help you. But ah, it was so sad for performance like you had in the midfield to end like that so like i said if it wasn't for that i'd give you a seven but because of the mistake i'm gonna have to drop you down to a six yeah uh, i think especially first half donny he bossed the midfield he was everything the be all or end all of the midfield in general so yeah i agree he probably would have been my man of the match in all honesty just the first half alone i think he was uh -huh. brilliant but the drop off was unreal in the second half as well and obviously the mistake happened before then. So I, I'm i happy to give him a six and just kind of leave him off as just... I still play him though. I stand by it. I yeah, still no, play him no, over Scott this weekend. 100% <laughs> better than Scott and Fred right now. What right, he showed yeah. today was better than what we've seen from McFred all season long. And he needs to be starting alongside Fred in that pivot right now. Yeah, uh, I think so. At least there's hope. The nice thing about today is that there's hope because he played deep today. If we played more up with like Mata, Lingard and Ahmad, I would be like, I would have came on today's show, even if he had a world, and I'd be like, he's finished at United. So the fact that he played deeper today is at least a positive. So I'll Very take it. Time. Yeah, I'll take it. So, ah, Donny. Ah, oh, you had to go fuck it. Yeah. I just can't believe it. I, can't, I was so sad. I felt like I made that mistake. It's like, oh my God, I passed that ball to that guy. I take the hit for you even, Donny. But ah. Oh. Just, uh, that was hell of unfortunate. Uh, anyways, I'd sell you. The end of story. I'd sell you. Not interested today. The worst player on the pitch for me. I hate him. He needs to leave the club. He's uh, just a waste of space. He's a West Ham player. And I just don't want him at United. I think he offered absolutely nothing. Didn't look interested. And the attitude he had when coming off a show, like, disgusting. You're supposed to be riding off the field. He, looked, he honestly looked disinterested today. And I can't have that at United. So, zero. Yeah, I don't know what people see in Lingard. Uh, I would love to debate more also today. Yeah, Lingard. I'd love to. But but lot has got COVID, so we allow him today. So. Exactly. He deserves his rest. <laughs> he deserves his rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope we go. Okay, my lot of you are. <laughs> oh, of course. But, yeah, uh, Jesse Lingard, don't see the points of you at Manchester United. I think, again, first half, your pressing was immense. It helped so much. I didn't it see you press. That's what I'm so just that, that was it, though. That, that was all I saw from Jesse Lingard. Every time I saw you go forward, you couldn't distribute the ball. Every time I saw you try to get on the end of the ball, you couldn't get on the end of the ball. That's just how your game went. You had zero impact on the game after about 20 minutes. That, uh, that was your game, Lingard. You mm. ran up and down, and you were proper pure assault bunny again. That, that, that's just who you are and you're not good enough for United as a bench option maybe but when you're putting in that little effort and you're just not in the right place to even receive a pass in a dangerous area it, it just reflects very poorly on you so mm -hmm. if your level is only a mid-table to maybe Europa League team then go please feel free to if that's what you your goals are that's where your ambitions lie I, it's fine we don't necessarily want doesn't to doesn't look interested at all so yeah the, something was just gone as as soon as I start blah, 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 blah. as soon as I saw him stop pressing it just was was it that was it I didn't see any more of Lingard and whenever I did I saw him just throwing his hands up in there going oh, why didn't I get the pass or just why couldn't I get the pass off or just one of those where it's just what did you offer you offered absolutely nothing so yeah the Definitely tied for worst play on the pitch. Just can get three. It was absolutely horrific. <sighs> yeah, and then got again. I think another player felt who failed the rough test today. So 
don't expect yeah. to see lots of Lengard or Aaron at least a lot. So it is what it is. It's up to you guys now. So don't come crying, you know. That's just how it is in life. Tough. I care about my club, not about the player, you know. So it is. Unless you're not. But then that's a different story. Anyways, moving forward. Juan Mata. Yeah, I rolled back to you as a cuddler. I was happy with Mata today. I felt, I felt happy for Mata today. The one thing he does not lose is the distribution of a football. My word. Passing, you yeah, ten out. Of, if I could rate your passing, today, it's honestly flawless. It was ten out of ten. Ridiculous distribution. Don't have the legs to play, you know, in the ninety minutes. But I, like I said, I'm not gonna really blame me. I think it was more like a testimonial game for Mata. He's probably gone in the summer, but I won't lie, Mata. You're passing elite, elite, and I think you didn't help down in the midfield. But um, when you did get the ball, at least you did. Very well, I thought so. To be honest with you, I, I'm gonna give Mata a seven. I like Mata too. Yeah, I thought he was all right. So I, I had no issue with him. Again, the distribution was beautiful. When I'm giving him a seven for distribution block. just for that, because otherwise, mm -hmm. I don't know how our midfield is working. So much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think also towards the end of the game, somehow you started being a lot more defensive. I don't know what that was about, but it, it worked to an extent. You kind of <laughs> made it work. I don't, I don't know how, but yeah, you did. So, yeah, I was happy with the performance, and yeah, he, he looked actually useful for once in a United shirt. There. So, it's been a while, Mata, and hopefully it will be a while again until we see you, unfortunately. Yeah. We love you. We do uh, love you. Elite passing. Jesus. <laughs> Elite passing. Can't lie. It just reminds me of like those videos you saw of like Bex when he was retired. It looked like I was watching a baby Pogba team. Because, you know, not baby, because he's yeah, but because he's small. So, that's a, like, oh, that's, that's really nice. It was just beautiful. It was pinpoints, and yeah, he, he he did his job well, and he was a good veteran role in the team. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, let's give him the seven. Yeah, send him for the seven. Happy for Mata. I swear, if we see more of Mata, <laughs> using my yeah, you know, maybe we see him in the again like the irrelevant games you can see, but that I don't mind. If it's irrelevant, I don't mind. But you know, it is. If Hannibal yeah. was here, maybe the difference too. But um, for now, it's okay because Hannibal's gone, so it's okay. Um, Ahmad, oh. Loved Ahmad today a lot. I, for some, the ref didn't like our kids. I, clearly, the ref has an agenda against our kids because they tried to kill our kids. My poor, my all my poor lads. I love them all. Don't hate one single youth player at the moment. And the ref just didn't protect him. But Ahmad was a beast. It just it just shows like he should be kind of breaking into the first team, contesting for it at least because he's just so good on the board, comfortable. He's confident. He's never under pressure. With regards to that one chance he had. I personally thought he could have shot, and I would have liked him to shot. But the pass is also 100%. It's okay. I'm happy that you made the pass, and Lund got fucked it. So, it is what it is. Happy with Ahmad. I, I rate him the same as Mata. Give him a 7. Yeah, uh, there was that one moment where he's running down the right wing, and the player literally trips and falls. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. he should have been a gun. Yeah, there wasn't a foul. There wasn't. A foul. That's something the ref today for me was a bit sketch, but it is. Like, the, the ref definitely had some sketchy moments against us. It was very obnoxious. But yeah, I thought Ahmed definitely was decent. He came back to help defensively a lot. Mm -hmm. He was kind of like Sancho with that regard, where he's willing to put the efforts backwards and forwards. So yeah, I think it was. The, Decent game, decent showing from Ahmad. And I yeah, could have walked away with a goal and assist on another day. Because I promise you, if Bruno is on that spot where Lingard was, yeah. he's preparing. <laughs> it's as Probably. simple as. So, another day, you walk away with a goal or an assist if he decides to take that on. So, yeah, I I'm okay to give him so. Yeah, I'm Good performance from the kids. Good performance from the kids. Yeah, that's what I'd say. I'd say not. Yeah, well, I'm not disappointed with any kid. I actually thought all the kids played really well. So it is, it is. Even Ilanga, I thought he played well, but he should have scored. How about having Ilanga? You know, you, you have come under my wing now. Now, if you're a youth player under Shoney's wing, can't be doing that. No, no, no. You see how amazing it is. We can't be having that now. Uh, that, that is prime martial moment <laughs> yeah, right there. That was the prime <laughs> Yeah, I was like, bury this, this is gonna bury, he's gonna chip him, I was waiting for the chip, and it just, I just left with disappointed. I know another day you probably finished that, but um, you should have finished that. Other than that, I thought you didn't really put a foot wrong by the chance which you should have scored. Um, looked lively. But yeah, there was another thing he did, I think he, he probably created a tap in for someone, and they missed it. I don't know, I think it was Ilanga, so... I think I'm happy with Ilanga. If you score that, you're probably getting an eight. I'm losing my mind, giving me the man of the match, but uh, it's very unfortunate. And so I'll give you, I'll give you a six. Happy with your performance. Yeah, uh, missing the big chance definitely cost him. 
And yeah, if he's going to be playing in this more advanced position, kind of very much in the Tony role with the left wing to striker type of position, mm. uh, you need to be burying that chance when you get it. So, Tony chips yeah. to keep the hands. Tony exactly. chips to keep the hands. the gloves and the shoes and the hat hands. Really. Exactly. But uh, Lango will get there. He's got some time. Yeah, he'll get there. He'll get there. I'm not, not disappointed. He held his own. He didn't look out of place. And yeah, it looks like quality. So I'm happy with his performance of sixes. Justified, yeah. I think a six is good for youth play. I'll take a six every day for youth play. So anything above that is just a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> above that is bonus. Like, okay, then you should be festive. So it is what it is. Um, Mason, my boy, you just elite, you know. You elite. That's what. That's just how you are. You are elite. None of this Highland, none of this Mbappe. You are my boy. You are my striker. That is what I love. The, bat, the scissor kick, amazing. You look sharp today. The maturity in your game today was amazing. The pressing coming deep trying to help in the midfield even towards the game you looked experienced you looked like i'm a first teamer i know shola is my mate i know ahmad is my mate but you showed why you were first teamer and they are not yet because there's just a different level to becoming a united first team and mason is on that level and i think for me mason you deserve to start against norwich on the weekend over rashford you know just it's just how it is and I would have loved to see Marshall today with Mason because that would have been amazing. But I don't mind Ilanga, like I said. I'll, I'll take Ilanga as well. But um, Mason, very happy with you. Overall, like I said, even without the goal, I'm probably giving you a 7. So with the goal, you get an 8 in my man of the match. Absolutely amazing. The goal worthy were of man of the match for me so, as well. So. Yeah, but there was just something different about his game today, like you said. It was definitely just felt like it was maturity. I think that's a very good way to put it right now. Yeah. It feels like Mason has matured into like more of a first team player and just I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the Ralph effect and just I think Ralph would have been happy with it today. Him. I think Ralph would have been yeah, like I think Ralph looks at today's game for Mason as like first team. <laughs> yeah, I, I kinda hope so as well. So let's see what happens going forward. But yeah, it was, it was a good performance and he just showed more to him actually growing as a player, at least mentally. So, yeah, um, I was very happy with this performance. Uh, amazing goal. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, worthy, I, yeah. I want to see someone replicate that, honestly. I think it's struggle. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you can get an 8. I think that's fair. Yeah. That goal alone deserves an 8, let's be honest. Yeah, that goal alone deserves an 8. So, yeah, happy with Mason. And honestly, a striking partnership, because we play 4 2 2 2 with our first team. A striking partnership with Ronaldo and Mason Greenwood. Sounds absolutely ridiculous, and I would not want to defend against those two strikers. I tell you what, because both of them can pull a goal out of their ass if they need to. So, ish. And if you give them a chance, like I said today, if you had Ronaldo on the chances today, he scores four goals. Ronaldo, he's dead bad four goals today. And I'm telling you now, and now that's the only reason I would watch Ronaldo on the bench today. I'm telling you now, Ronaldo's sitting at home watching that game, fuming, because he knew. And if he was there today, that's an easy set bad four goals. But like I said, you know, I'm not a, I'm not disappointed. I personally would have bought Ronaldo because just to give him his dead bad goals. But I'm happy that he got a rest. And a fresh Ronaldo on the weekend against Norwich is it's gonna be good. So yeah, happy days with him. Yeah. Sometimes it's that easy. You just need to rest your best players. For the important yeah, that's, game. Not one yeah. not one first team on the bench. No, no. They're all at home. Which That's is a big exactly bonus for me. What we've been saying for two years on the Holy Gunner Solskjaer, I can't. Yeah. That's just, why yeah. when we get to Mr. Ralph Ragnick today, team selection, spot on. Bench, spot on. Substitution, not mad with it. Result, not mad with it. Style of play, it wasn't the Ralph Ragnick style of play, that was for for sure. But I think that's the only thing, be and that and the win is probably the only thing that I'm not happy with with regards to Ralph and the team in general. But overall happy. I don't think we ever get to see this under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And like I said, I think this is just, you know, this was for Ralph to see, give the rest of the team the opportunity. If you impress me, we I'll work with you. You might come into my first team. Do I think anyone today broke into Ralph's first team? Maybe Mason, maybe sure again. Bye. That's Tommy. that's about it, really. That's about it. Tommy, I would love to die with that, that goal. That no, no, I'm telling you. And Scott's got the he's got the nice bit. He probably brings coffee to the manager every time. He's one of those suck ups. So I can picture Scott doing that. I wouldn't have it personally because I mean I care what you do about the football. Don't care you bring my coffee in the morning or tea. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, Ralph, yeah, I'll give you a seven. 
he was seven. Happy with the happy with the team more than more than anything really. So, yeah, keep it up for seven. Yeah, I think everything from the management side basically got spot on. So only two things that I can be upset about, and that is just the result overall. It should have been a win at the Which end. Which isn't even like a like a system fault. It is just yeah. what are you guys doing? Dizzy moment. That's what it was. Yeah, the, the, the players knew what they had to do. They created the chances. They created they, the chances. It's not like we didn't have chances. Had so. Yeah, so it definitely wasn't just like a barren wasteland of Ali when we're struggling to score a goal. We, we had the chances. We just couldn't put them away today. So, again, I have no fault for all Freddy. I think the subs could have been a bit earlier for Zidane and... Uh, Maybe Sandy. just wanted some more time to pass yeah. with the result. I feel like it was a time-wasting sub or anything else. But like I felt like Donny was on his like last knees at the end of the game there. And then Mata came <laughs> like in, I said, Tony ran the midfield. Tony ran the midfield a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I was I was a little bit confused with that, and I would have liked it like just give them like at least ten minutes of the game, you know, like let's actually see them as United fans a little bit. I understand that we're on a bit of a back foot at the. That yeah, point. you don't want to lose the game as well. To yeah. be fair to Ralph. But uh, it was definitely good time management. If we're Great time wasting, you know. <laughs> Congrats on that, you know. Some got away with a shit ton of time wasting. Mm. So yeah, I think it was just a very good result, and uh, we can move on from this again. Another, you can get an eight. Uh, an eight. eight. Okay. Imagine you gave him a seven. Yeah, I gave him a seven, but an eight is like you know now. Now you get an eight just, from a yeah, B. Just things I'm uh, really upset about, you know. It's just. I'm, I'm happy. We, we I want to go with me now. No, that's good. It's like, if you won the game with this team today, I probably would have given like a 9. Oh, I'm team, giving you so. a 10. If, probably, yeah. if you won the game with that I'm, team, I'd probably give him a 100%. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong if you won that game. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. But, but, no, no, nothing bad. It's just any good. Any positives, and we move from this. Yeah, we move from this um, Norwich on Saturday, which means preview to today, technically, because the video is coming out today in our time. So, preview today. Um, so smash like in the video, subscribe if you're new, games are coming thick and fast. Um, is there anything else you want to say, Clay? Norwich this weekend. Oh, I, I'm excited because that's my championship team. So <laughs> They're going back um, to the championship, man. <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully not. Hopefully Dean's with the man, that's all I have to say. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, it should be a similar sort of performance. We have our first team rested. I'm excited for the weekend. I'm very, very excited for the weekend. Yeah, I think you'll have a few training sessions. The team today will play one train tomorrow, but first team will definitely be training tomorrow. First team's going to be training. They'll yeah. definitely be training tomorrow. They'll probably even train Friday. They'll probably they'll do a live training. training. Yeah, they'll probably train yeah. Friday again, so that'll be a good. I expect a good performance against Norwich, and we'll obviously cover it in the preview. But um, yeah, for now, like I said, smash like on the video, subscribe, and let us know you're a man of the match. Let us know who you think deserves or took the opportunity to break into the first team and we'll check you all very soon and goodbye